In a recent interview by Sandy Moreau with Lars Moravi, the Tesla's head of vehicle engineering, we got a lot of really great information, and I would highly recommend you take a look at the main video. The link is here on the screen and in the video description. But based on that, we got some great news and information that pertains to Giga Texas, specifically about these four areas. The first is the caching machine area, the second is the die shop facility, and now we know what that is for. These two areas I already covered in part one and part two of this series. The stamping and also Cybertruck painting system areas on the southeast side of the main factory and also about the crash testing. In today's video, part three of the series, we'll be talking about stamping one and two and the second floor of Body in White where the TKS modular paint system has been installed that supports Cybertruck construction. Now, Lars did mention that the Cybertruck's stamp passenger cabin uses two different presses, Schuler and AP&T. Interestingly enough, he didn't mention the AIDA presses that are also here, and we'll be discussing those later in the video. But as far as the stamped steel cabin that uh, Lars mentioned, this is a, it, and this was at the display during the Cybertruck delivery event. You can see the arrow pointing to this carbon steel stamped section, and this forms the middle part of the Cybertruck and where the two castings, front and rear, are attached to. Now in this image in the green, I just wanted to show you where the second floor of the body in white is located. This is where I have seen the TKS modular paint system, which includes the dip tank conveyor system and also e-coating and the powder coating that is needed to apply the black paint that uh, Lars talks about in this video clip. And you know, it's simply coated with a, a black powder just, just for aesthetics basically. So we're looking at you know a, a clean surface here, but it's high strength boron steel single piece inner and single single piece inner and outer and then we just spot weld it together um, and we do that down here at the end of, south end of giga texas because we had the it, much like our castings we had yeah. to make the press yeah well uh stamping press of this who, whose did you buy schuler's or Schuler? so we have two different brands we have schuler and apnt yeah yeah okay so they if i was gonna do it that's who i'd pick the first stamping press mentioned is Schuler. This is headquartered in Germany. They make very large stamping presses, which are the sizes of multiple houses. And ironically, this is one of the very first pieces of equipment installed here at Giga Texas about three years ago is when that began. AP&T is another type of press here at Giga Texas that Lars mentioned. These are small from 200 ton all the way up to 25,000 tons, and they have a wide range of different kinds of machines. In the photo here, you get a good sense of one of these and what they may look like. And I'll show you some images of installed items here at Giga Texas shortly. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Lars did not mention the AIDA presses. There's two of them, and they're very large, up to 3,500 tons in capacity. Again, these are the size of multiple houses, and we have one in Stamping 1 and recently one in Stamping 2 that has been installed. So additional capacity not mentioned in the interview with Sandy Moreau. Now, looking at these images from the 14th of August, it gives you an idea of what the installation here at Giga Texas looks like. You see the Schuler presses, you see the APT smaller press on the left. Also here you see the same APT and Schuler presses, but also an AIDA press. And there's a similar one over in Stamping 2 as well. Now for the TKS paint system, here's an image that I took on the east side before they were moved into the second floor of the body in white. Later on, parts of this have been moved over to the west side material staging yard as well, and most of the equipment now has been installed. Around the same time earlier this summer, I took this image. This is one of many dip tank conveyor system parts that were delivered and installed. This short video clip from TKS gives you an idea of what it would look like if it's an operation. And again, this is part of the system that the passenger shell here shown in black would be dipped in to make sure it's prepared for e-coating and also for that powder coating to give it that black appearance. And finally, for reference, this is the platform in the second floor of Body and White on the east side of Giga Texas, where I observed these TKS paint systems and modular components being lifted up and moved inside for installation. I also saw a number of permits filed that supported the installation of this modular paint system. 
So there you have it. Some additional information from the Sandy Monroe interview with Lars. We learned about the carbon steel passenger cabin of the Cybertruck, the stamping presses that are used to manufacture that, plus some additional interior panels, and of course, the TKS modular paint system with the dip tank conveyor system that ensures that the metal is properly cleaned, e-coated, and then has that powder coating to give that characteristic black look that we see when the doors are open. I hope that you found all of this review and information helpful and puts into context more about what we see on the site and as we look towards the future here at Giga Texas.